signs and wonders. Absolute grace. Um, yo, it's been it's been a rough year. Understand the husband situation. Um, yeah, it's 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 been awesome. Um, and and it's amazing God's sense of humor, because I ended up yesterday through my husband, because I've changed. It's been very hard, like pulling teeth, and I've gone. You know what? You're the head of this home. I will submit you. And I'm like, Yes, I'll submit to you because you're the head. And, and he came to me and he said, geez, you know, he works for Bigger Watch. And uh, he saw this couple. <laughs> Amazing how God works. And um, he thinks that we should go to this church this Sunday. I'm like, oh, you know what? You're the man. I, I'll go with what you say. And I need to tell you, when we pulled up there this morning, I said, but there can't be miracles. Look how few people there are here. Please forgive me. And you know what, it's just been amazing because I've had rheumatoid arthritis according to the world for 14 years. And I've really, I've seen God heal others and trusted him for my own healing. Um, I've had doctors laugh in my face. I was supposed to have surgery on my hands three years ago. And when the doctors asked me, they were about to operate and they said, why have you started treatment, stopped treatment, started treatment, stopped treatment? I said, because I've just got this, no peace because I believe God heals. And they laughed at me, and I thought, openly laughed. I thought, there's no way I'm putting myself unconscious under your hands. And I walked away, and I stopped all my chemotherapy. I stopped everything, because I was on chemo twice a week. Um, very hectic treatment. And um, I believe God had healed me, because I would cycle. I didn't have a car, so I was cycling, hitchhiking in Joburg. What a fun. I felt like I was 17 again. <laughs> and um, to get to work. And I had no pain. And before I would be crippled, completely crippled, um, that my husband would push me around on an office chair and to a hospital. And I believed that God had healed me. And then I got this infection in my eye. <sighs> Cut a long story short, went into the hospital on the Thursday after the doctor saw me. They said to me, the arthritis has moved to your eye. It's now eroding your cornea, and you will be blind by Monday. This was a Thursday. And I just got so confused, and I thought, that I'm healed. Maybe my hands are on straight yet, but I don't accept this. So I sent a 911 to my beautiful friend, Carla. She's, my, she's really my partner in Christ and carries me a lot. And she just covered me in prayer. And um, we got to the hospital on Monday, and they said, we don't understand. The infection seems to be clearing, but doctors. Um, but you, the arthritis is it's systemic, and it's attacking that You've got to go back on treatment. And I just oh, I didn't understand this. And then there was my marriage. And then... Um, I'm a recovering addict, and yo, man, I thought I was going to die. And um, my pastor phoned me, and I went to Kent on Sea just for a gap on my own. And God has been amazing. My pastor said, I don't want you seeking for God. I don't want you reading spiritual books. I don't want you touching your Bible. I want you to rest. And God has just met me in the last month amazingly. And then bringing me here today under my husband, of all people, Man, I've been looking for a home church for a while, and I must tell you, I've known the Lord since I was 14. You know, you always try and pull other people up the ladder, and they pull you down a lot quicker than you pull them up, and it's been like a ride like this. But I must tell you, I've never felt the presence of God like I felt it yesterday. There was a hot oil that just came upon my head, and oh. I love it. Oh, more, more, more. And um, yes, I mean, they can testify as to I couldn't stand. I, they put me on a chair. I fell forward off the chair. And it was just amazing. And, and to go home, and I was supposed to go with Carla somewhere today. I couldn't talk on the phone. I couldn't do I was lying drunk in the car. And my husband's looking at me, and he just can't understand this. And yeah, I just want to give God all the glory for what he has started, and I know he'll complete it. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Woo